Who invented Windows? Microsoft's Hidden Truth. Next we will tell you the story of how the idea that made possible the famous Microsoft Windows operating system was born. Which we all currently know for its ability to work with multiple windows, with which we can simultaneously execute different applications and tasks. In Bolivia, in the La Paz city, a student of electronic engineering from the Universidad Mayor de San Andres, in 1985, provided written on a paper the idea of the algorithm that makes possible the famous Windows operating system. This algorithm is known as multi-thread processing and is currently used in all modern technology, computers, cell phones, medical equipment, navigation systems, satellites, space probes, and so on. The engineer Ronald de Herrera Barrero, is that student who in 1985 provided the idea of the algorithm that makes the famous Windows operating system possible. One afternoon when he was attending a microprocessor laboratory class with Professor Marcelo Ramirez. A student named Hernán Galindo approached and friendly told him and his colleague that the future lay in operating systems, and that they should work on that. And that a multitasking operating system was necessary, capable of using a single microprocessor. Then the engineer Ronald de Herrera Barrero came up with the idea of exchanging tasks using time multiplexing. When the class ended, Hernán Galindo was waiting for the engineer de Herrera to finish explaining the idea. So the engineer de Herrera made a diagram of this entire algorithm that is currently known as multi-thread processing. After about a month, Hernán Galindo brought Bill Gates to the La Paz city. And it was at the same engineering faculty where Bill Gates was to interview engineer de Herrera. The interview did not take place, but they had the opportunity to meet face to face. All this story. The engineer de Herrera tells it in a book that he has written so that the truth about the origin of this famous operating system is known. This book is called, I am the inventor of Windows, the hidden truth of Microsoft, and can be downloaded for free from www.whoinventedwindows.com. Back in those days in 1985, there were only single-task operating systems like DOS and multitasking systems such as Unix, which performed multitasking processing using the queuing method in combination with multiple microprocessors in parallel. But this multitasking processing system was too expensive and could not be made available to the common user. The algorithm that engineer Ronald de Herrera Barrero came up with, called multi-thread processing, allows an unlimited number of tasks to be processed efficiently, using a single microprocessor. But in 1985 there was no hardware with the capacity to execute this algorithm, so seven years had to pass and it was only in 1992 that a stable version of Windows was finally available. Version 3.1 with which this operating system was only started to be used. Dot. Even in version 3.1 and later, the 386 microprocessors got quite hot. Just as the engineer de Herrera had announced to Hernán Galindo when he explained the idea to him. Also, as any Windows 3.1 user could attest. That version was quite heavy for existing hardware in 1992. So it is absurd to believe the lie that before 1985, multi-thread processing had been invented much less used. Because simply there was no hardware with the capacity to execute this algorithm. Which shows that there could not be a functional Windows before the 90s. However, on the internet we can find many stories conveniently told, 
trying to hide the true origin of this operating system. Algorithm is a set of operations that are systematically executed to solve some kind of need or problem. The algorithm that the engineer Ronald de Herrera Barrero provided written on paper in 1985. To solve the need to process a number of tasks, using a single microprocessor, it is what is currently known as multi-thread processing, which makes possible the famous window operating system. Among other of its multiple applications in current modern technology, multitasking processing, also called multi-threaded processing, has not been an invention of mine, says the engineer de Herrera. That already existed before 1985. What the engineer de Herrera is claiming is the authorship and intellectual property of the algorithm that solved the problem. Need to process countless tasks using a single microprocessor. Before the engineer de Herrera provided this solution, multitasking processing was carried out using the queuing methodology, so that each task was handled by the processor according to its turn. However, there was a limitation that it was only possible to attend to a limited number of tasks simultaneously, as it depended on the number of processors available in parallel, which made these equipment too expensive similar to the number of service counters in a bank. Each teller at each counter serves the clients or tasks that are at the head of the queue. The difference with the solution that the engineer de Herrera provided is that the tellers at each window do not serve only the customer or task that is at the head of the queue, instead. Each cashier leaves his window and serves each and every customer or task in the queue for an instant of time. The attention of the processor is so fast, that to the human eye, it is as if all the tasks in the queue were being processed simultaneously. Currently, multitasking processing is performed using multi-thread processing with several processors, called central processing unit cores of electronic equipment. If you want to know more technical details of this algorithm, we recommend reading the book by the engineer de Herrera. I am the inventor of Windows, the hidden truth of Microsoft. In 1985, the Apple Computer Company had also developed the well-known Macintosh 128K which due to its characteristics of its graphical environment and its multitasking capabilities causes confusion to many people. Speaking of multitasking, multithreading or multiprocess, it is exactly the same. The engineer de Herrera said previously that he had not invented the concept of multitasking, that concept was already used since the old mainframe computers, back in the 1940s. At that time, multitasking processing was performed using the Q's methodology, very used in the Unix and Xenix operating systems, on which the operating system of the Apple Computer Lisa model launched in January 1983 is based. The successor to the LISA model was the Macintosh 128K. The multitask processing methodology used by those computer models of the Apple Computer Company in 1985 was based in the Q's methodology called cooperative multitasking, also known as non-preemptive multitasking. It is a style of multitasking processing, in which the operating system never initiates a context switch from one running process to another process. Instead, processes voluntarily relinquish control, periodically or when they are idle or blocked. Instead, with the multitasking processing that engineer de Herrera invented in 1985, now known as the multi-thread processing algorithm. 
With this methodology, the operating system periodically interrupts the running processes and gives control to another process in a mandatory way according to its priority. In this way, a fragment of each process is executed for a moment of time and then control is passed to another process and everything is repeated again, which allows to execute an unlimited number of tasks simultaneously. So, it is perfectly clear that there are two multitasking processing methodologies. The methodology that attends the processes according to their turn in the queue and the methodology that attends the processes in small chunks of time, also called time multiplexing or time switching. This last methodology is what the engineer de Herrera is claiming for intellectual property which makes the Windows operating system possible and is the main engine of all modern technology. Computadora Escucho sus órdenes, Ronald. Mostrar datos Los datos ahora están visibles. ¿Qué día es hoy? Hoy es sábado, 27 de marzo de 2021. In 2008, while the engineer de Herrera was programming a new artificial intelligence system, similar to his graduate thesis, you can see this complete video on this same channel. It was thus that he recently discovered that the idea that he provided in 1985 is nothing more and nothing less than the main engine of the Windows operating system and of all current modern technology. Since that date, in September 2008, the engineer de Herrera has tried to communicate with Mr. Bill Gates and the Microsoft company, without, until the current date, April 2021. He having obtained any response. It is obvious, says the engineer de Herrera, that if they do not respond it is because they are hiding. Because Bill Gates knows perfectly that what I am declaring in this video is 100% true. As we can see, in the publications that he was recently disseminating. Through different media and social networks, as a public record of his claim of the intellectual property of the multi-thread processing algorithm that makes the Windows operating system possible algorithm by which to date the engineer de Herrera has not been recognized as the legitimate inventor. Because apparently, says the engineer de Herrera, they have taken me as a kind of benefactor of ideas, to whom it is not necessary to pay a penny. A complete lack of ethics, honor and respect. In the same way, the idea that the engineer de Herrera provided to his partner Ivan S., to solve what today is the cell phone. That opportunity in 1986, Ivan S. asked the engineer de Herrera if there would be a way to develop a mobile phone for each person, since at that time there were many limitations in mobile telephony. So, the engineer de Herrera answered very briefly here that it was possible with the use of microprocessors and by encoding data packets. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, says the engineer de Herrera, everything I am declaring in this video is 100% true. The same happened with my developments in my degree thesis, which were copied and marketed by other large companies, without a I would have been recognized not a penny. As if. These important scientific contributions grew on trees. Well. Now I need to be recognized and rewarded for these important contributions that today are used in all modern technology and are the result of much effort and academic study. Yes ladies and gentlemen. I ask for justice. In this sense, given that to date the engineer Ronald de Herrera Barrero has not been recognized and has not been paid for these important contributions that he made. Because apparently, says the engineer de Herrera, those big companies have considered me a kind of anonymous benefactor of ideas. 
For this reason, the engineer de Herrera put some of his projects on sale below. Each of these projects, for a modest figure of at least 8 digits. Some of these projects, says engineer de Herrera, only part of it can be downloaded for free from the cloud. The other projects are only in my brain. How can you see Mr. Bill Gates, says engineer de Herrera, I can still contribute in a very significant way to this humanity. So, once again, I want to ask you very strongly, please kindly pay me for the idea that has made you a billionaire man. It is the least you have to do, because it is the right thing to do and it is justice. Thank you very much for watching and sharing this video.